Hi, I'm Michelle Space, and I'm on the Wellness Committee in the Corporate Office, and I'd like to introduce Dave Bergen. And he's our success story of losing weight and fitness. And Dave, can I ask you um, how many pounds that you've lost? I've lost 81 pounds so far. Oh my God. Wow. Why did you decide to lose weight? Uh, I've always had a somewhat unhealthy lifestyle, and it got to be the point where I was, you know, working at a very sedentary job and not moving quite a bit, and, and it really started to take a toll on my overall health. So I was noticing and was diagnosed with early stages of sleep apnea, and, you know, I'd get winded just walking up the stairs, you know, I'd have, have to hold my breath if I leaned over to tie my shoe, things like that where it was impeding just basic, normal, everyday sorts of functions. And I thought it, you know, I'm only, I'm 33 years old right now at the time when I started, I was 32, and it, uh, it just got to be too much and I noticed that I didn't recognize the person in photos anymore. And so I decided that, you know, starting here in uh, February of last year, that, that now that was the best time to start uh, a new diet plan, a new uh, fitness, call it a regiment, um, and just get myself uh, into the shape that I kind of hoped I, I could be in. Wow, that is fantastic. Um, what diet plan and um, are you using, and why did you choose it? Um, I do Weight Watchers. Uh, I go to weekly meetings, um, or at least I try to make weekly meetings. Uh, the reason why I chose it is it's it's very very flexible and it moves with me. And when I say that is is that they have a lot of tools both. Um, for people who don't have smartphones or, you know, just are at a computer all day or anything like that, uh, there's a lot of ability to track uh, the food that you're eating and have, you know, exactly what you're eating on a daily basis. Um, you're also able to look back and look at trends at what you've eaten as well. You know, what worked one week, what worked the next week, you know, what, what, what were small changes that I was able to make over the course of, you know, a month that uh, maybe gave me a better effect. Um, what methods do you, do you use to exercise? Uh, I first started out solely, and I, when I mean solely, I mean I was, I'd go to the gym maybe three times a week or so, uh, you know, just go, go over to Lifetime Fitness and just walk on the treadmill uh, or on the elliptical, you know, just something fairly low impact. And I did that for the first six months or so while I was on the diet. And I was, you know, seeing, seeing progress and my fitness level slowly started to improve. I started to notice changes. I, and I, at the point I got to the 30 pound mark, um, the lifetime I went to uh, actually was going through a remodel and was going to close. And so I went through this phase where I was freaking out like, oh, Oh God, what am I going to do for three weeks? You know, I could drive to another lifetime, but it was, you know, another 10 miles to, to where I needed to go. So I started doing some, some research and poking around and there was a gym that I passed on my way to lifetime, uh, called Orange Theory. And Orange Theory is a, uh, circuit training, uh, it's similar to CrossFit where you are, you take an hour long class and you're in there with anywhere from 10 to 25 people and uh, it's it's regimented so you uh, are going to spend some time on a treadmill some time doing floor activities where you know you're lifting weights uh, or uh, doing step movements or um, another portion might be using trx bands which are bands that are suspended from the ceiling so you're kind of doing uh, kind of air push-ups and yeah. uh, or pull-ups or, or anything like that, just kind of on an incline. Um, and then also spending some time on a rowing machine. Uh, I started there in July. Um, I cried <laughs> after the first one. Uh, I th th cried and threw up after the first one. Um, but I went back for more um, just because I knew that I'd gotten... I had worked hard to get myself down 30 pounds. I, f I, I thought... You know, this is really effective because I was getting on the treadmill. I didn't know what I was, you know, I was, I knew I was getting some sort of health benefit from it, but I wasn't quite sure how much healthy benefit I was gaining from it. 
and almost instantly I, I noticed a difference. Um, since then I, I dropped an additional 50 pounds um, and it's, uh, it's made a dramatic difference on um, not only the diet, uh, mm -hmm. but also keeping track of how my body's feeling, you know, making sure I get extra sleep at night um, and being mindful of recovery as well. Great. What changes have you noticed since you've been losing weight, um, both at home and at work? Uh, at work, uh, most importantly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been a lot more effective and focused, uh -huh. um, that I'm able to accomplish more in the course of a day, uh, more awake and alert because I'm getting the extra sleep that I need uh -huh. because my body's telling me that I need to, to okay. get that. Um, as far as home life, it's uh, been a dramatic turnaround because my, my I live with my girlfriend and we uh, we both have been on it. She's lost twenty pounds and and uh, on Weight Watchers and uh, you know we're very very active now. We go skiing and golfing and uh, where it was it wasn't that we weren't active before, but now it's like okay, what can we do tonight? Mm -hmm. Dave, do you have any recommendations for employees that would want to start a weight loss program? I would say do the research. Um, you know, Weight Watchers work for me, and, mm -hmm. and Orange Theories work for me, um, but it might not work for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, for some people, uh, it might be you know just working with a, like a Fitbit mm -hmm. system, which is which is very popular right now, or you know Jenny Craig or Nutri Nutrisystem or anything mm -hmm. like that. But I would say do the research and and explore some different options. Don't just uh, just because what worked for me doesn't necessarily work for person A or person B, um, and tailor it to, ma to fit your lifestyle. Dave, what do you feel is the most important element um, for somebody to lose weight? I think is to not view the food aspect of it as a diet and to view it more as a lifestyle change. Um, the minute you think of it as a diet, then it's this heavy weight that's kind of, you know, following you around that you know, I, I have to. I can't eat that because I'm on a diet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it, diet is a. It's a four-letter word, and it's a. It's a terrible four-letter word. But if you view it as a lifestyle change, that okay, I'm not going to eat that, or you know, I'm going to have a half portion of that because I'm trying to make a lifestyle change, and this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, it becomes much much easier and and much more adaptable as you continue to go on and and. It's uh, the big thing is to to view it as a uh, as a whole, you know. Not especially when, when you're when you're making a lifestyle change like this, to view it as it's not just going to be one week or you know a, a few day window. This is something that's going to be months and years, and 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 it's going to be work, mm -hmm. you know. And you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days, but the thing is to stick with it. Dave, thank you for sharing your story with us today, and um, I'm hoping that this will um, help people um, and inspire them to make a lifestyle change. You're very welcome. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Thank you.